Alright, so we haven't been in a while, so I figured we would uh, go see our shrink. You know, see how he's doing. Maybe you can see how we're doing. We're a freaking mess right now. I don't know what's going on. Let's see what happens here. Well, you've made it in the end. Yeah. Please, take a seat. Hey, you mind if I don't dock? No. Do as you like. Yeah, thanks. Oh, man. What? Man. Man! You know what, look. I'm just gonna take off. I'm not in the mood for this shit. This fucking bullshit. As you wish, Michael. Can I ask you something, Doc? Yes, I mean, you're you can. a wise, kind, know it all kind of guy. <laughs> Go ahead. Do you believe in evil? No. No, I don't. I'm a man of science. Evil is a construct made by people who wish to indulge childish fantasies or by people who wish to judge others. It all comes yeah. back to the father mother syndrome, which is what we spent last year on. Yeah, well, you obviously never met my old buddy. And we call him Tony. I thought he was called Trevor. Oh, shit. That's right. I forgot I told you about him. God. Don't, don't worry. Everything you tell me is in strict confidence. <laughs> Didn't you tell me that if I turn things over, you know, start it again, that the universe would find some way to forgive me? Wasn't that you? And have you? Turn things no. over? Well, no. I mean, you know, not really. But that's not the point. I, mean, I, I wanted to. That is the point. What's been going on exactly, Michael? I think you'll call this a bad relapse. Relapse is a vital part of recovery. <laughs> yeah. Sure is. That's a hard one to explain. The FIB mm -hmm. is making me. Let's just say one man's patriotism is another man's atrocity. My old pal Trevor, he's got me stealing nukes or some shit off government contractors. My wife's left me. My kids. Which we didn't even get paid for. My fucking son drugged me. I tried to kill a yoga teacher. You're giving me facts. You're not sure telling did. me how you feel. I'm angry. Don't worry about your emotional health, Michael. I'm trying to stay calm, but I'm angry. Hmm. Anything else you, know? you want to tell me? <sighs> I ain't been a good boy, Doc. I mean, you know, things just all of a sudden get up on top of me, right fucking on top. And then I lose my shit, and I hurt people, and then I feel bad about it. I, Mm -hmm. We oh, lost our shit. Brick. Remorse is good, but not we as good it. as taking control before you act out. Yeah. Just don't like myself very much, Doc. And that's the truth. Mm. Mm. Yeah. What about your sexual problems, Michael? Yeah, I was doing okay. Then I. <sighs> with a working girl. Not good. I was not a good boy. That's not good. You're trying to make better choices. Well, we need more sessions. <sighs> if I could just get all these people off my back, Doc, I'd be doing a lot better. Fascinating. So the stuff you on the side actually, actually like affects you. a rare combination of a sociopath and a deluded psychopath. Either that or a more classic case of a weak pup who was weaned too soon by an angry mother. What the hell does that mean? It means that's about all we have time for. I really want you to work on yourself. Think about the person you'd like to be and really obsess about it. Next week, I'll tell you how to become that person. And remember, brother, we're all rowing together. Now, cross that ocean. Oh, by the way, your insurance ran out. Listen, I don't suppose you could pay cash from now on. If I'm hearing correctly, you've clearly got some. Yeah, okay. Close the door on your way out. I should have an envelope with money in it. And buddy, chin up, okay? I thought I just put all my money into the stocks, which haven't really done anything. 
Yeah, like I put money into stocks. And then nothing's happened. I put them into that car company. My portfolio. Yeah, nothing. Look at nothing's happened. This is just a joke. This is. Nothing's happening with this thing. Uh, I might as well sell it. It's like, it's not going up, but I don't get it. When is it going to go up? I don't understand. It's not changing. Strange. It is strange. Okay, we gotta go to S. We gotta go see Solomon, this Solomon guy. So he's a movie th something or something. Let's go! To the movie guy! It's hard to like keep track on the map while you're or your GPS thing while you're driving. Just got our little nice little red car here. Brum 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 pylons. Whoa, 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 what the frick, dude? Ass muncher. Let's go see Solomon. I have to... I have to go in there? I guess. I guess I have to go in there somehow. Sick parking job. Hey. Hey. What? What now? What now? Nothing. You got nothing. Go see Solomon. There's an uppercut of that woman. I was like, hello. Hello, Come in, come in. Thanks. You must be Michael. Yeah. You know, I used to have three secretaries. Now I have to make my own coffee and give myself a happy ending. <laughs> see, the ships are coming in. All right. But the walls will hold us. Nelson in Naples. Pluto? I said Mars, you cocksucker. <laughs> Shoulder of Orion. Two. Devin Weston said you were a fan. Huge fan. Tell me, Michael. Devin Weston. I'm a big he, fan. Does he want you to bump me off? No, not at all. He said you were retiring but might need some help on a movie. Only assholes retire, Michael. Him and my son, they want to put me out to pasture so they can turn this place into condos or a theme park or something. But this place hmm. is a dream factory. Well, maybe they have different dreams. Some days, I don't blame them. You know, they hmm. always say, never work with children or animals. Well, I want to add to that list. Never work with directors or actors. This picture is going to kill me. All right. So what's it about? It's perfect. Set in Liberty City. Ooh. Meltdown. It's all being shot on green screen right out back there. We take a look at the financial crisis, and then we boil it all down into a really simplistic battle between two yuppies. With lots of training montages. So what's the problem? Milton McElroy. I cast him in the second lead because he's cheap. Zero talent, incidentally. Well, he's got this new agent, Rocco Pelosi. He's been hassling us about renegotiating the deal. So now, 
Mm. He's holding up shooting until he gets paid. That sounds problematic. It would be if the director wanted to shoot. Anton Baudelaire. Ever heard of him? That doesn't surprise me. Now he's having a mental breakdown, pissing all over himself, who knows where. Pissing. All, right. all over himself. Looks His like pants are, that new assistant. are wet. But no happy endings. <laughs> I love you already. <laughs> no happy endings. Do this. With presser bags. At funerals, they always say how wonderful the deceased look. And I gotta drive a fancy car and smash it. Yeah, smash it. Ooh, flames come up in the back. Hey, Solomon. I'm just doing that thing. Good, good. Now, I realized in my excitement, I forgot some details. Yeah, it seemed obvious. You want this Pelosi guy clipped? No, God, no. Is that an option? No, no, no. Bad idea, bad idea. No clipping anyone. Just teach him some manners. He's also in my director's ear as well, if you'd believe it. So teach this punk a lesson and bring the talent back to set. Ideally, in a more collaborative mood. I'll see what I can do. They all gonna yeah, be at the club? I'm told it isn't a club so much as a rat pit. Anton and Milton are supposed to be there, and Pelosi's on the way to pick them up. He's taking them to his lawyer to sign the contracts. So if he hears there's someone from the studio coming, he'll get him out fast. All right, I'll go in quiet. See you on the set, boss. Okay, so I'm gonna what? Knock them the fuck out? I think that's a plan. So what am I doing right now? Precisely? Stealing the helicopter? Do that. Gentlemen! How you like this space? It's gonna be an EDM paradise! It's gonna be Chocolates stuck in bottles, implants, tramp stamps, all the real shit. That's Pelosi Entertainment. Now give me a minute here, just a minute. I gotta go grab Pelosi Entertainment. Johnny, we nearly got the club. We're finally a go. Now you take care of these guys. No cold feet. Okay? Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Camera. Very, very quiet. Or the rest of the rabbits will hear you. Take this guy out. Oh, you can't be here. What are you doing here? You no, you don't. No, you don't. Okay, let's go. Seriously, 
Molly. They'll never see me coming. There you are! Mr. Richards has been worried sick. Oh, who's this? Who's this jackass? Hey, you! Oh, turns out these guys are in love with their contract. So they'll be going back to the set with me. Can you believe this fucking clown? No! This guy's all mine! <laughs> oh! You want some? Oh. You want some of this? You want some of this? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. I'll oh. Oh, not one of those. I want a kick in the dick. How about a kick in the dick? We're going to make a new deal. Yeah. Kick in the dick. And I don't toss you off this Kick in the dick with the fist. Okay. Sure, man. Sure. All right. Let's get back to the lot. Yeah, let's go. I don't know who you think you are. Look, you can bully him, but you can't bully talent, buddy. We are not shooting until I get a new deal. Can't bully talent? Just watch me. You're gonna be a good boy when I'm done. I don't know who you think you are. Just jumped up to studio security? I ain't security. I'm Solomon's assistant. Easy actually. I just had to drive under uh, or fly under a few bridges. Hey, dun, 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 dun. Hey, now, I think you owe an apology to Mr. Richards. Would I be in pain? No, he should apologize to me. A brutal honesty, bud. You're not that good. It feels phoned in. You're just lucky you're working at all. <laughs> you're kidding me, right? I am an artist, dude. I'm your apologizing. When you see Solomon. Sorry for the misunderstanding, sir, and you will always, always appreciate the opportunity he's given you. Now, where am I putting this thing down? When Devin Weston came to do a studio visit, he used the empty water tank. Alright, then we'll do the same. Put it there, the water tank to our parking lot. Yeah, let's do this. We're gonna make a movie. Solomon's office. Come on. We're gonna make a movie. Okay. <laughs> what a wonderful oh. surprise. Anton, my boy. You're an artist, I know that. And this story is the best kind of art. A simplistic yeah. cliche ridden pile of dross that you will turn into magic. Get a grip. I love ya. So Solomon. Milton here has a little something he wants to say to you. Say it. Uh, I, I just, just want to say that I'm sorry for any misunderstanding, sir. And I, I appreciate all the opportunities <laughs> that, that, that you've given me. Of course, of course, of course. Michael, what can I say? You're a natural. I love you. Oh, you're too kind. Thank you. No, no, I mean it. I don't mean to presume. But would it be okay if I gave you a shout? This shoot seems cursed for some reason or another. I need an associate producer. I'd love that. We'll talk soon. I gotta go. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, associate producer, baby. That's me. Ah, hell yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. Totally. Did I, I didn't get paid? No money for me? Oh. Hey, Mr. Madrazo. How's that rebuild going? Good. I need to see you. Come to La Fuerta Blanca, my ranch off Senora Road, and bring Mr. Clinton. Hey, look. Franklin? I hardly know the kid. I don't want him caught up in this. You'll need another pair of hands. All right, there's another guy. Trevor Phillips. Me and him are partners. Okay. I'll have my people messenger him. Ah, uh, here we go.